CompTIA Network Plus N10-009 Practice Exam Questions 1 through 5 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 1. A network engineer is configuring dual trunk connections between two switches to provide redundancy and increase bandwidth. Which of the following configurations would be the most appropriate? The answer is C. Use LACP and tag VLANs. LACP or Link Aggregation Control Protocol enables multiple physical links to be combined into a single logical connection, providing increased bandwidth and redundancy. Additionally, it dynamically manages link failures, ensuring continuous connectivity. As for VLAN tagging, this is necessary on trunk ports to allow multiple VLANs to be identified and transmitted across the link. Without tagging, VLAN traffic would not be properly separated, leading to communication issues between connected switches. Question 2. A network technician is troubleshooting a connectivity issue and systematically checks each layer of the OSI model to determine the root cause. Which of the following troubleshooting steps does this process best represent? The answer is A. Establish a theory. Establishing a theory involves analyzing the problem and identifying potential causes, which may include systematically working through the OSI model to pinpoint the issue. This step helps determine whether the problem is related to physical connections, network settings, or application layer issues. Once a likely cause is identified, the technician can proceed with testing the theory. Question 3. A technician is troubleshooting a voice over IP phone that is unable to connect to the network. However, a laptop connected to the same port functions correctly. The technician needs to determine which switch and port the phone is connected to. Which of the following tools should the technician use? The answer is A. LODP. LODP, or Link Layer Discovery Protocol, allows network devices to advertise their identity and connection details, helping technicians determine which switch and port a device is connected to. This is particularly useful when troubleshooting voice over IP phones, as it can reveal whether the handset is correctly linked to the network. LODP runs at the data link layer and provides essential information such as port ID, VLAN assignment, and device capabilities. Question 4. A network administrator needs to configure a file server for user access. The organization uses DHCP to assign IPv4 addresses but wants the file server to always receive the same address. Which of the following is the best solution? The answer is B. Create a DHCP reservation for the server based on its MAC address. A DHCP reservation ensures that a specific device always receives the same IPv4 address by associating it with the device's MAC address. This allows administrators to manage IP assignments centrally while maintaining consistency for critical network services like file sharing. Using DHCP reservations also prevents IP conflicts and ensures the server remains accessible at a predictable IP address within the DHCP-managed network. Question 5. Which of the following technologies is closely tied to X.509 certificates? The answer is A. PKI. PKI, or Public Key Infrastructure, is closely tied to X.509 certificates because it provides the framework for creating, managing, distributing, and revoking them. X.509 certificates serve as the standard format for digital certificates within PKI, allowing secure authentication and encryption in network communications. PKI ensures the integrity and trust of these certificates through certificate authorities, which validate and sign them. Without PKI, X.509 certificates would lack a structured trust model for secure digital interactions. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.